So adding push notifications to your app is very easy to do. You just click on plus to add the push notifications and then click on edit. You will then arrive at a screen that will ask you for your Android keys and your iOS certificate. This will enable you to send push to Android devices and also to send push notifications to iOS devices. So in this video I'm going to show you how to get your iOS certificates to allow you to send push notifications. Now I hope you have watched our previous video where I showed you how to generate certificates and your P12 for iOS. It's something similar but not quite as complicated to get your iOS certificate for push notifications as you've already done most of the groundwork. So the first thing we need to do is we need to get our SSL certificate and that will allow us to get our private key certificate as well. So to do that we need to go across to the Apple Developer Center again and when we're there we just click on certificates. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go down to App IDs and just click on it. And then what you want to do is you want to find the app that you just created your certificates for previously. If you haven't watched that video yet I recommend you do and I'll include a link to that video uh, underneath this video where you can click it and go and watch it. As I have a lot of apps here, I just need to scroll down. So here's your, here you will see this is com.app.zappable and you remember that I've already enabled push notifications. So if you just click on edit and then scroll down and then you will see here you have push notifications, Apple push notification service SSL certificates and you have two options, development and production again. Development is what you would do first of all, as this will allow you to test out push notifications on your device and when you know that they're working and you've set everything up correctly, then you would create a production certificate afterwards and that is the step that you take when you eventually submit your app to the Apple App Store. So it's very easy to do, you just click on create certificate, click on continue, Upload your certificate signing request again. Again, if you don't know what this is, you need to watch the other video which I'll link to underneath as this ex as it explains how to get your CSR file. Once you have it uploaded, just click on generate. And then you just simply need to download it. Now once you have done that step, you then need to go to where you have downloaded the file and simply double click it and it will bring up your keychain access again and then you want to get the certificate which you see here and if you click the little down button click on private key then click on export now it'll say zappable here it'll be whatever name that you have named it so for you it will be different. Just click on export and then you could see if I will have it as iOS P12 certificate, certificate and then click on save. And then again I need to give a password to use. So I'll just use a very basic one. Click on OK. You may or may not see the screen if you do. It's just for your Apple computer password. And now we are ready to add our files in the Zappable. So, the password here needs to be the exact password that you just gave to the keychain access. The SSL certificate is the certificate that you just downloaded. The APS underscore development dot sir. So you just click on choose file and you just click it. Mine has a little five beside it because I've downloaded several, but yours in all most likely cases won't have that. It'll just say aps.development.sir. So you just click on open and it will upload. Then your private key certificate, just choose file. And you'll see here the iOS P12 certificate. It's a different P12 to the one that you used in the previous video. 
This is the P12 for your push certificate. Again, just click on open. And once all those details are in, just click on save. Now, if you want to know how to get your Android keys, please watch the video on how to set up push notification for Android devices.